First Alert 5 weather. Well, we had the fireworks on top of Pikes Peak last night, both at 9 o'clock and midnight, and it was a good show, although there was that obscured cloud cover just right on top of Pikes Peak, just a place that we didn't want it to be, but that's all right. We did see plenty of fireworks going above the clouds, and it created for some pretty interesting lighting on the peak. Now, we have a lot of moisture in the air, so it's not super... Um, surprising that we did have those clouds on top of Pikes Peak, but overall we're seeing still this Pacific moisture just being fed into the western U.S. That's going to leave us with some pretty thick high clouds today, and you can see that from our satellite imagery. And we still have active snow throughout the mountains. We'll continue to see snowfall in the high country today. We have lots of alerts in place across Colorado, but our area is kind of sticking out like a sore thumb. Not very many winter weather advisories or winter storm warnings. Of course, our mountain zones are now under a winter weather advisory starting this evening, as well as northern El Paso County. But other than that, the storm system that's going to finally push its way into the plains is really starting to trend further north. So that means our snow totals are trending down in southern Colorado today. So snow showers continue in the mountains throughout the afternoon, and they will start to move here into the foothills and areas west of the Continental Divide and into Teller County by this evening with a few snow showers making their way into El Paso County tonight. And then we get a couple quick blows of snowfall, but then the dry air really takes over on Monday and we have pretty limited moisture chances throughout Monday afternoon, just a few hit or miss showers. So unfortunately, dry air is winning out once again. Snow totals from this storm. You might get maybe an inch or two, up to three on the higher end. Most of this is gonna come with this first round overnight. And then we could pick up maybe a dusting throughout the day on Monday. But areas like Pueblo, I have you from zero to one, about zero to a dusting for Walsenburg, Trinidad, as well as the Eastern Plains. The spots that see the most snow will be in our foothill zones where we have more coverage, more moisture. Temperature wise, starting this morning into the 20s, 30s, not so bad out there right now. High temperatures today will be seasonable, up to 45 in the springs and 49 in Pueblo will have those high clouds in place. So the limited direct sunshine will make it feel a little chillier out there. So highs across the region, making it into the 40s and 50s today. Quite comfortable, especially if we get a little peak of sunshine here and there. Tonight we'll drop to the teens and 20s. We'll start to see those snow showers ramp up and then things start to clear out pretty quickly with the dry air tomorrow. But we will be left cooler into the 30s and 40s. So on the Super 7 day, really the main impact for this week does look to be Monday snow showers. There's at least a good chance of seeing snow throughout the day Monday, but accumulations are going to be light. Light enough, I dropped us to an impact 1 out of 5. Unfortunately, this isn't going to make it a huge work from home day if you're hoping for that. In terms of conditions into next week, we're going to warm up gradually up to 50 again by Friday. For Pueblo, looking at that rain transitioning to snow late tonight, some light snow showers on Monday, but overall we're just cooling off a little bit, only dropping about five degrees for Pueblo. For Canyon City, from 51 today down to 40 on Tuesday, that's our low spot of the week. We're climbing back up to the 50s by Friday. And finally for Woodland Park, you're going to get a little bit more snow, maybe a couple inches. So two out of five on the storm impact scale. Fortunately, not our storm. And Alex, I know we've talked a lot recently about the snow we're getting in the high country. Yep. And just into our newsroom, we got some information about an avalanche death. What do we know about that? Yes, yeah, so we now have two avalanche fatalities, unfortunately, this year. The first one was on December 26th. Second one was yesterday in the Breckenridge backcountry. Okay. Just keep in mind, anything that's not a ski resort is backcountry. If it's not groomed, then there could be an avalanche there. So just keep that in mind as you're going up into the higher elevations. Yeah, we hear these warnings all the time, just evidence of why they're so serious. Yeah. All right, thank you, Alex.